beautiful. This is Michelle Knight. I'm so sorry. Yet again, I'm ill. So I'm actually doing this from my sick bed. There will not be a weekly this week. I'm not up to it. But I couldn't not give you the monthly. And the yearly will be coming, hopefully in a week, when I'm fully better. This month kicks off with a full moon. And at the end of the month, we've got a blue moon. There's lots of emotional changes. Here's your monthly astrology. Scorpio, this is your year, baby. 2018 has got your name written all over it. It's going to be an exciting year. And it starts in January with a full moon in your house of adventure. And there's also a grand water trine with this full moon. So it's very emotional. You might find yourself feeling things that you've blocked. But you're like, you know what? I can handle it. I'm going to feel these emotions and I'm taking them to the next level. Neptune is in your position of creativity. Mars is in your sign. Full moon is in your adventure zone. You are ready to blast into 2018 being emotionally authentic pushing your own boundaries and being fearless you're not going to be pushed around at all you're also ready to express yourself in a new way and to speak your truth venus is sextile neptune on the third there could be a spiritual conversation or a conversation that plunges you into a soul truth which is very very liberating now let's let's not forget that jupiter the planet of good fortune is in your sign and Jupiter is joining forces it's conjunct Mars the fiery one in your sign on the 7th you're carrying a sword of truth and you are fearlessly fighting with a warrior love heart for what you believe in from the 7th but it should come easily to you but sometimes you know even though Mars was your previous ruler you don't say straight out what you mean you like to watch before you come out with your truth. But Mars is making you much more out there at the moment. And it's also making you not handle food, fools very well because you will say what you think immediately. Perhaps it's time you did step into your power and say what you've got to say. Certainly the universe has got your back and is saying you're lucky this year, this month. But the luck, you know, to, to take advantage of the luck, you have to go for it with all your power. Venus is joining forces with your ruler on the 9th. There's some very profound conversations coming. There could even be a new love interest and a new conversation with someone and there's a deeper meaning to it. The sun is joining forces with your ruler on the 9th. And uh, Venus is sextile Mars. It's all about talking, getting your ideas out there, believing in your ideas, pushing things to the next level and knowing that it's okay for you to be the centre of something that you're creating to be the center of creating your own world don't take a back seat to anyone else this month mercury is also shifting signs and going into your communication zone some very profound and interesting emails talks communication and ideas flooding through you use them while that flow is going on now a really good day for you is on the 16th of january when jupiter is sextile pluto so that's those two major forces coming together. And something that you've been thinking about for a long time on the 16th of January becomes a reality. And you see it manifest, you see it happen. Or you see the potential how to make that idea something that's going to bring you a lot of good fortune. The new moon on the 17th is bringing a new wave of communication. And it's a new beginning for you. Also, any negative self-talk you can let go of. Um, and you can move through with hopefully a more positive self-talk in your mind. We end, of course. Oh, we've got Mars shifting signs and making you much more practical when it comes to money, laying foundations and being firm. The full moon and eclipse of the moon and total lunar eclipse are in your position of your career. There's a massive change coming when it comes to your career. And it's on a deep and profound level and things will possibly never be the same again. Keep your feet on the ground, keep grounded in the process and all will be well. Take care and I'll speak to you soon.
Hello, wonderful one. Thank you so much for listening. It would be fabulous if you liked, subscribed or shared. It would be really, really helpful. Also, I have a ton of free stuff for you. Horoscope.co.uk for everything astrology and michellenight.com for everything psychic and free tarot reading. See you there.